Do I really need all this for my morning ride before work? So why ditch the pack? First off, I love my Ospay Raptor hydration pack. It holds up to 3 liters of water, it has a built-in tool sack, and it can easily carry a spare tire, medical kit, phone, wallet, and all my camera gear. But there are times like mornings before work where all the extra stuff really isn't necessary. Sometimes it feels nice to go packless, especially during the warm summer months. So here are my 5 tips for riding without a pack, but remaining prepared in case something goes wrong. My first tip is to ride something familiar that can be completed under one and a half hours. Phoenix has two large open preserve parks located in the northern and southern parts of the city. I'm lucky that I live near enough to one of the trails that I can ride from my house. If anything major goes wrong, it won't take too long to get out of the park and back to civilization. Since I'm familiar with the trail, there is less risk of getting lost or hurt. The desert is a dry place, so my second tip is keep hydrated. Even in the cooler temperatures, the humidity is consistently low and the dry air will suck any available moisture from your body. You may not feel hot, but your body can easily become dehydrated. To stay hydrated without my pack, I use a Camelback Dirt Series Podium water bottle. The 21 ounce water bottle is insulated and comes with a rubber cover that prevents dust, dirt, and mud from getting into the mouthpiece. Most of the lid pieces come apart for easy cleaning, and this is the best water bottle I have ever used. If my ride is under an hour, I'll use water, otherwise I use a sports drink or some kind of electrolyte supplement. My third tip is to carry tools in a spare. To keep things at a minimum, I use the Race Face Stash tool wrap, which can easily attach to the frame of the bike. It is less bulky than a saddlebag, and easily accessible if needed. Inside the wrap, I keep a small multi-tool. This one is from Topeak and it's called the Mini 6. It basically has a set of Allen keys and a Phillips head screwdriver. I also carry a spare tube. I normally run tubeless, so this would only be needed in a real emergency. If I need to use the tube, I carry a mini pump attached to the water bottle cage. I also carry a couple of tire levers, one wrapped with some Gorilla Tape and the other with bandage tape. It all wraps up nicely using a Velcro strap and rubber grippies. Just in case, tip number four is to pack some first aid essentials. The Race Face Stash Tool Wrap has room for some band-aids, cleansing wipes, ointment pack, gauze, and a pair of tweezers. Tweezers are the most common thing I use out there on the desert due to all the cacti growing off the trails. Bandage tape, as stated earlier, is wrapped around one of the levers. Tip number five, bring a phone. Today, smartphones can easily replace your wallet so you don't need credit cards or extra cash. I also use my phone to track my ride using Strava, however there are numerous cycle computer applications. In case of an emergency, you can phone home. If you get hurt, you can set up a phone with your medical information and emergency contact. To keep my phone readily available, I use the quad lock mounting system. The bike lock attaches to your handlebar or stem and you can use it in portrait or landscape. They have cases for the major phone manufacturers or you can purchase a universal mount and attach it to your phone case. I have been using this system for a couple of years now and never run into an issue. It's attached via O-rings so they will eventually break and will need to be replaced. Let's ride. 